Hello and welcome to Fun Study Channel. And in this video, we will look at the common syllabus for NSSB, that is Nagaland Staff Selection Board. And before we start, let me give you a brief hint about the structure of the exam. There will be paper one and paper two. Both paper will carry 200 marks each, and the total will be 400. And each question will carry two marks. Okay. And there will be one extra paper that is paper three for technical posts. Okay. But this is not for everyone. There will be paper one and paper two for general category jobs. Okay. So let's look at the paper one total 200 marks. The first subject is the general knowledge 50 questions. There will be 100 marks. Second, that is general English, 50 marks, 25 questions. English comprehension, 25 questions, and marks will be 50. So total, 200 marks. In the later part of the video, I will be explaining in detail the syllabus, the topics under the subjects, under these subjects. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Next paper, that is paper 2, total marks will be 200. And the subjects are basic computer knowledge, 50 questions, 100 marks, simple arithmetic, that is 30 questions, 60 marks, general intelligence and reasoning, 20 questions, 40 marks, and total will be 200. So, for general category jobs, so paper 1 plus paper 2, total will be, sorry, 400 marks, okay? next paper that is the paper 3 total marks will be 200 only for technical specialized post okay so specialized qualification which merits conduct of examination in the knowledge of the concern technical specialized subject so in the advertisement they will make so and marks will be for 200 marks so there will be an extra paper that is paper 3 for technical candidates okay so, paper one, okay, now let's look at a detailed syllabus, general knowledge. So under this, there will be current affairs, current events, and Indian polity, geography, economy, and general science. And Naga history and culture will also be part of the syllabus. So the subjects are, topics are current affairs, Indian polity, geography, economy, general science, and Nagaland GK. So these are the subjects under general knowledge. And second one that is general English under this. Fill in the blanks using verbs, preposition, articles, etc. Vocabulary, spellings, grammar, sentence structure, synonyms, antonyms, sentence completion, phrases, idiomatic, use of words, etc. So these are the topics under general English. And the third one that is English comprehension. There will be questions on comprehension of passages. Also, to taste the vocabulary, grammar, logical thought ab ability, and overall grasp of candidates over English language. So these are the four paper one. Okay. Now for paper two, basic computer knowledge. So under these topics are introduction to computers, introduction to graphical user interface, based operating system. Elements of word processing, spreadsheets, PowerPoint presentations, computer communication and internet, World Wide Web, www, and the web browser, communication and collaboration. So these are the topics under basic computer knowledge. Now the second topic that is for paper two that is simple arithmetic. 
So the topics under simple arithmetic are number system, simplification, roots, averages, discounts, percentage, profit and loss, ratio and proportion, partnership, chain rule, time walk, time and distance, simple compound interest, mensuration, permutations, combination, heights and distances, line graphs, bar graphs, pie chart and tabulation. So these are the topics under simple arithmetic. Paper 2. And the third one that is general intelligence and reasoning. It will include both verbal and non-verbal type. So questions on analogies, similarities and differences, special visualization, special orientation, problem solving, analysis, judgment, decision making, visual memory, discrimination, observation, relationship concepts, arithmetical reasoning and figural classification, arithmetic number series, non-verbal series, coding and decoding, statement conclusion, syllogistic reasoning. So these are the topics under general intelligence and reasoning for paper 2. So the pa like I said, paper 1 and paper 2 will be for general category. And the third paper that is for technical candidates. So questions relating to concerned technical specialized subject will be set as per educational qualification prescribed in the relevant recruitment rules, service rules, and the detailed syllabus for this paper shall be notified by the concerned department. Okay. Syllabus for this paper shall be notified by the concerned department well in advance after due consultation with the board. So for paper 3, they will notify, then SSB will notify during the advertisement regarding the syllabus for various technical subjects. So these are the detailed analysis of for NSSB syllabus. So make sure you subscribe to this channel for more contents relating to NPSC and NSSB examinations.